I'm back at the garden that I tidied up when I had my chest infection. Uh, I'm going to scarify today, but it doesn't look, it looks more thatched than it is moss. I have put moss killer on, as you, well, you've just seen on a video. It's funny when, you, when you're when narrating it, you forget you've already done the video a while back. But when you're watching this now, it'll be tagged onto the front of this video, so you'll have watched it about 10 seconds ago. Anyway, it's more just in-ground, like thatched and squashed grass. I mean, look at this. See, that's... I wouldn't say that was moss, I'd just say that was dead grass thatch. Whatever it is anyway, it's coming out. So we're going to be scarifying that today. So let's get on with that. So, I've gone around the outside, there's no reason why, just that's the way I do the mowering, so that's what I'm used to. Just make sure the edges are done. No reason. Uh, okay, so I'll do exactly the same as I do every other time. I won't video at all. I'll be going up and down, I'll be going crossways, then I'll be going diagonal both ways. So that's four minimum. Never do any less than that. Well, I don't do any less than that. Very rare. Um, and... It's not just that, there's a lot of moss coming out on the far side. You can see the difference already. It makes the grass look um, darker as well, doesn't it? Yeah, so get on with that. Well, you can see the difference already. You can just see the dark, dark stripes and the, the, the rubbish coming out. Um, the other scarifying job I did, I just wasn't happy with what was coming out. It wasn't coming out as dark as that. I know now if I go the other way and diagonal, so you know, 99% of it's going to come out. If not 100, but you know, you can't. Let's just say 99%. Uh, I'm happy with that, but the other one I had to give it another dose of it. Um, weird moss killer. So yeah, if we don't don't get it right the first time. Well, we won't give up. We'll we'll sort it out. But yeah, you can definitely tell that that's doing something already. When we say to customers, your grass needs scarifying, it's probably, some of them just think oh, it's a waste of money, or it doesn't. But I mean, that looks perfectly green. It looks a nice lawn from here, but it's not. I mean, that's only a bit. When I go the other way, you'll see how much comes out. Just started the opposite way now. I've only done three rows, but you can still see the three rows are a bit heavier than this. So I'll get on with that, and then I'll get the billy go, get that up, and then I'll go diagonal. That's much faster using the billy goat. It's, it's doing a great job. So you can see where I'm, where I'm up to. What I'm doing is when the bag's sort of half full, three quarters full, 
I'm going to put it in there because it gets quite heavy. So it would hold more, but it won't hold more weight. So instead of taking that to the compost or one bin to the compost, I'll put that in there now and then I'll carry on, put the bag on, and then when the bag's full, put the actual bag on there and then I'll take that down. So I'm taking two loads in one trip. Do the thing I'm going to do is I feel like I'm getting a migraine because I'm going like all zigzaggy out me right eye. So I've got a flask with me, as everyone knows, my little flask. I'm going to have a cup of tea and hopefully the sun is going to dry some of this up anyway. I was going to mention that before. If you leave it for say an hour, um, obviously it'll go lighter because it'll go drier. I think it's time's the essence, isn't it? All the time. So nobody wants to leave things, especially me. I'm impatient. Um, but today I've just took my jacket off and it's sunny and there's a shadow on the floor. And this was, this is yesterday to the other scarab firing job, which this is complicated because when you're watching this job, you might not even see the other video or you might watch the other video weeks later or something. But I did a scarab firing job yesterday and while I had the tools on board, I've come to the other scarab firing job. But yesterday was that overcast and dull and raining and it wasn't cold, but like I said, I had my hat on because um, you get cold once you're wet. And it was a really, really miserable day. It didn't make me miserable, but it's what's called a miserable day. So yeah, it complete contrast. I mean, the sun's, I probably need my sunglasses, I'll be honest with you. But that's all I've done. I'm going to go for a nice cup of coffee now, and I'll have five minutes and just let this dry for a little bit. So it's a bit of a bit of a win-win now, isn't it? Have a break and let this dry. See you in a bit. My God, that sun is so strong. It's weird. It was absolutely hammering down. Sorry, tell a lie. It wasn't hammering down, but it was raining all day. Okay, I'm going to do a little soil test pH meter just to see if it's acid or alkaline. Because there's various reasons for moss. I don't know if people know or people don't know. There's, there's compaction, which is kids playing on it, people walking on it all the time. Even the rain. And once it gets wet, the rain obviously percolates through the ground. Well, gravity pulls the rain down, so it pulls everything down. So just leaving it alone will eventually compact it. And then you've got shade, and then you've got acid soil. Um, it could be a number of any. So taking the moss out is only, a, you know, a one stage really. If you don't sort the cores out, you'll always get moss. So we're just going to try this little pH meter. I've had it years, and I have tried it before, but I don't try it much because I just take the moss out and keep on top of the moss on our regular garden so that's uh, one of the reasons why I haven't, I haven't used it for a long time but yeah I've just scraped the end with it you get a little pad with it a little bit of like sandpaper thing and the ground's got to be moist which this is because it was as I say raining yesterday heavy so just stick it in the ground and then we'll leave that and we'll come back to that in a minute So we'll give that a few minutes. In the meantime, I'll just carry on getting this up. It's all done with the billy goat. So it's had two goes with the scarifier. Ran over with the billy goat. So let's see what this meter's saying. Okay. So, what is that? I can't see. It's around a seven and, um, Talk it out now, but yeah, that's uh, just neutral. So I'm not going to put any lime on. Just going to carry on as usual. Just going to go diagonal now. just shows you that's well the third go and there's plenty coming out it's definitely going to need another alternate um, diagonal I mean that's minimum but there's lots in it lots so when we say it needs doing it needs doing So that's it, four, <clears throat> four passes now. And I've just stuck the pH meter in again, in a different spot. 
Because you are supposed to do it in different spots, but it's still breeding the same. So. Back at one of the scarifying jobs and I'm just about to apply the top dressing. Now, I've bought a top dressing machine as probably most people all know. And I'm here today now going to apply the top dressing with because the top dressing machine won't fit through the doorway. Never mind, on with the show. Just taking one of these little hand battery operated um, spreaders over. I think it's great, good for small jobs. Just putting a fertiliser over now and then we do put the grass seed over as well using this. Just put some little tiny stumps there for now because they can always add later. There's nothing worse than putting too much on. So I'll spread them out at this size and then always, you know, add in between wherever I think I need it. Well, wow, what a difference a day makes. I suppose you've all heard that before. I'm back on the f one of the scarifying jobs. I lost footage to one of them. This is the one I've got full footage to, as you'll see, because this is going to be tagged on the end. I keep forgetting that. When I'm talking now, I forget that this is going to go on the rest of the video. Anyway, I spread the top dressing down last time I was here on one side of the lawn and I raked it out. And as I was getting the rest of it down, it started raining. It was a bit too wet to spread it. So I thought to myself, right, I'll just put it out in piles and I'll come the next day. Well, it's been about nearly a week. It's just been soaking wet, um, even when there hasn't rained of a day. It's been raining the night before, and it's just been soaking. So I've got it today, and I've had to put this stupid woolly hat on to keep the sun out of my eyes and off my face. Because as you know, I've got to keep the sun off my face. But I've, I've took my summer hat in and washed it and left it in the house because I didn't need it. It hasn't been sunny enough for it. So it's going back in my van. Anyway, I'll just show you now. I've rigged this half, which was already done all this half out that, that's fine that's finished and this side has just been tipped out and ready to rake out but it's frustrating because number one i want to do the job and number two i can't get paid until i've done the job so it's a bit frustrating so i'm here now i'm just going to rake it all out and i'll just show you it when it's done so we're done we're uh, top dressed so it's been obviously you don't have to explain you've seen the video as i keep saying <laughs> forget when you're talking on little bits of the video, you forget you're going to put it on the rest of it, but it's all done now. So now we've had nothing but rain and it's been horrible. Now I want rain. And you know sod's law, don't you? It's going to stay dry now for weeks, I bet you. So next time you see it, there should be some green lawn there and then we'll get some stripes in it and then take it from there because we've got this as maintenance now. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. And uh, if you'd like to comment, great and subscribe if you haven't subscribed to us and press the bell then you'll get little uh, indications of whenever we put a video up thanks very much i'll see you on the next video